हेलो बच्चो लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन से डेट अ ब्लॉक ए ऑफ मास एम वन रेस्ट ऑन हॉरिजॉन्टल टेबल अ लाइट स्ट्रिंग कनेक्टेड टू इट पासेज ओवर अ फ्रिक्शनलेस पुली एट द एज ऑफ द टेबल एंड फ्रॉम इट्स अदर एंड अनदर ब्लॉक बी ऑफ मास एम टू इज सस्पेंडेड द कोफिशेंट ऑफ कैनेटिक फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द ब्लॉक एंड द टेबल इज म्यू के वेन द ब्लॉक ए इज स्लाइडिंग ऑन द टेबल द टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग इज सो We will solve this question. First of all, we will see what will be the key concept used to solve this question. The key concept that will be used to solve this question will be frictional force F is equal to mu into n, and in case of motion of the block, kinetic friction will act. So kinetic friction will be equal to coefficient of kinetic friction that is mu k into normal friction which is n. Now we will first draw the diagram of the situation which is given in the question. Here it is given that there is a horizontal table. So suppose this is the horizontal table, and a block of mass m one rests on the table. This is block A that has a mass m one that rests on the horizontal table, and it is connected to a light string which passes over the pulley so this is the pulley and this string connects it to another block which has a mass m2 so this is block b and it has a mass m2 now the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the table is mu k so here the coefficient of kinetic friction is mu k now when the block a is sliding on the table we have to find the tension in the string so block a might be sliding with an acceleration a so the acceleration of block b will also be a now we will see there will be a tension in this string let us call this as t so this will be t this is the tension in the string now we will see the forces acting on the block this is mu k here it is mu k so there will be a frictional force which will be acting opposite to the direction of m1 motion of m1 this is block a now the weight of block a will act downward m1g and normal reaction due to table will act upward n so n will be equal to m1g so frictional force that will be equal to mu k into m1g because n is m1g now uh, for block b the weight will be acting downward that is m2g now we will see for block a we have for block first of all let us see for block a for block a we will write the equation so the tension is the driving force so tension minus frictional force that will be equal to m1 into acceleration of block so tension minus mu m1g that will be equal to m1 into a this is mu k into m1g this will be m1 into a let us call this as equation 1 now again for block b we will have tension sorry m2g because here the acceleration of block b is downward and m2g will be the driving force so m2g minus tension that will be m2 into a let us call this as equation 2 so solving for tension from here we will have tension is equal to m2g minus a m2 into g minus a this will be the tension so if we put the value of t here we will have tension that is m2 into g minus a m2 into g minus a minus what we have mu k into m1g minus mu k into m1g that is equal to m1 into a so from here we will have m2 into g minus a that is equal to m1 sorry let us solve for a so this will be m2g minus mu k m1g 
that is equal to m1 plus m2 into a so taking g common this will be mu2 m2 minus mu k into m1 by m1 plus m2 this is a this will be the equation for acceleration now in equation 2 if we put the value of a so tension will be equal to m2 into g minus m2 into a so we will put the value of a so this is m2 into g minus a so we will just put the value of m2 into g minus a is g into m2 minus mu k into m1 by m1 plus m2 so on solving this we will get tension is equal to m1 into m2 by 1 plus mu k into g by m1 plus m2 so this will be the value of tension which is option b so the correct option will be option b hope you all understood it well best of luck